guys, welcome back to my channel, Twin Flame Freedom. Today I am talking about a key that is absolutely um, integral to have on a Twin Flame journey. Like if you don't have this key, then you're going to have a very difficult time into coming into union with your Twin Flame. So right now I am driving, um, but I am on a massive highway and it's very clear at the moment, um, so we're all good here. Um, so this key is called non-attachment okay so your twin flame journey uh, isn't something that you can control because you didn't create you in your twin flame so you have to be absolutely non-attached uh, on the unfolding of your twin flame journey and even and even completely non-attached to who your true twin flame is pardon me so I went through a false twin flame experience and after finding out that he was my false twin flame I had to be completely not attached uh, to allow myself to be with my true twin flame I had to completely detach myself from everything uh, that I thought was true and I had to surrender to, to where I was actually being invited I had to, to surrender to uh, what was who my true twin flame was and I did uh, another video on this false twin flame experience. Um, it's very, very insightful. So I invite you to watch that one as well. And it can help you understand more about false twin flames and the and the purpose of the false twin flame relationship. But anyway, back on track. So yes, once I found out that uh, this person was not my true twin flame, my false twin flame, I had to be completely not attached and surrender to. Uh, my truth because uh, us as individuals human beings uh, we didn't create twin flames we didn't create ourselves we didn't create our perfect partners so this relationship isn't within our isn't something that we can control so God God created twin flames right the universe uh, higher power source whichever term you like to use created twin flames and we we're surrendered to that truth right we can't change what is true and what was created but we can trust that what has been created is perfect for us and is something that we'll absolutely always love you know like you were created and loved by the universe in your creation and anything that was given to you or anything that is in alignment with truth is perfect for you and is for your greater good and, and what you feel absolutely best about and in saying this uh, you can trust that your true twin flame is absolutely perfect for you and is your heart of hearts desires is is your highest hearts desire no matter how perfect you think like uh, your false twin flame is or you know a soulmate or a, a a karmic partner or just another relationship no matter how perfect you think that relationship is for you um, no matter what it looks like you can always trust and know that your tw true twin flame relationship is absolutely perfect for you is what feels best best to you um, even if you even if you have if you even if you can't clearly identify that at the moment at the moment that is the truth so you must be completely not attached to who your true twin flame is. Sometimes you might think that this false twin flame or you know a soulmate is actually a better partner for you than your true twin flame once you find out who your true twin flame is. But that can't be true because uh, you and your twin flame are one at the core. You were created as one in love, as love together. And you were created to complement each other perfectly and support each other and love each other perfectly for all of eternity, right? And the, those soulmates or those karmics you still uh, think you're called to have a relationship with, they actually have their own perfect twin flame, right? They have they have their twin flame that they're designed to be with. So two non-twin flames are not designed to, to, to be together, even if they think that they're perfect for each other. Because there's always going to be a level of sacrifice in that relationship because they weren't created as one if you're not so if you weren't created as one there's always going to be a level of sacrifice in that relationship uh, and 
that's why they cannot ever be perfect for you. If you have like upsets in your true twin flame relationship or in your feelings towards your true twin flame, once you find out who they are, that's just some healing that you need to do before you're able to see the truth that they're absolutely perfect for you. Right? Because you and your twin flame are one at the core and it's natural that you might have uh, a block to it block in yourself about yourself in your union uh, you might for example you might not like a part of yourself and therefore when you meet your twin flame you're not gonna like this part of your twin flame because they are you but that's just a block that you need to heal when you love that part of yourself that believes you don't like yourself when you love that part of yourself and heal that that uh, that upset that lie you know that that ego that block it's going to be resolved, you're going to have love back in that place, you're going to feel in love with yourself in that place, and then your twin flame is going to reflect that feeling back to you. You're going to feel, you're going to see your twin flame for who they truly are, and you're going to completely, be completely and fully in love with them. So, you have to be completely not attached to who your twin flame is, even if you have blocks in your relationship with each other. Um, the soulmate is not going to be better for you, uh, even if you think it, they might be. In truth, you weren't created to be together and eventually like, there's going to be some level of sacrifice because you're not created to, to love each other for, for all of eternity. So one phrase that's really helpful that you can remember is to empty, empty your cup. Empty your cup to all that you think you are. Empty your cup to who you think you are, who you think your twin flame is. Uh, what do you think your purpose is in life? Empty your cup as to who you think you are. Let all of that go so that you are open to seeing who you truly are. So in my false twin friend relationship, I thought initially that we were extremely aligned in our purpose um, because we both we both loved sport and we both uh, coached children in, in sport and we both loved to like create in that that place so i thought like me and my false twin flames me and my false twin flame was like i thought he was my true twin flame because of that but when i emptied my cup and uh was open to knowing more about myself more about my soul and open to receiving more of who i was i came to realize that yes man i i fucking absolutely love athleticism i love sports that'll always be part of who i am at the I'm here to serve in sports and create and share that part of myself. But I also, I'm a, I'm a healer and I help people come back to the awareness of who they are. I help people heal. I help people come to know God. I help people to come to know the truth. And that's really my, my deep true calling at the moment, right? My twin flame, my false twin flame wasn't called to that. We, we didn't share that, that same alignment at the core there. And that's where I could tell that, okay, when we don't share purpose in this place, we're not aligned in this place of, like, healing um, and providing healing to the planet. So let go of all that you think you are. Empty your cup. Be open and ask ask God, ask the, ask the universe, whatever high power you work with, to show you who you are. I like... Uh, working with oracle card decks um, some great card, uh, card decks to work with is the life purpose oracle card deck by Doreen Virtue and also Archangel Michael the oracle card deck by Doreen Virtue they're both like heavily life purpose focused to help you get clear on your life purpose but before that um, I highly recommend life purpose class by Jeff and Shalia uh, Jeff and Shalia are also uh, twin flame gurus they uh, created both Twin Flame Ascension School and Life Purpose class together for the purpose of one, Twin Flame Ascension School, to get to, to heal within yourself, to come into union with your Twin Flame. And your Life Purpose class helps you uh, become and who you are and to share your purpose with the world. Because you and your Twin Flame have one shared purpose. Uh, you are created to created together as one so as you live your purpose you're coming into alignment with how you created you're coming into alignment with how your twin flame you and your twin flame are designed to serve together and create together and you're gonna actually doing that completely 
attracted to a flame into your life. So yes, be non-attached to uh, who, who you are. Empty your cup. That's huge on the Twin Flame journey. To have your uh, journey not unfold super slow, right? If you're controlled and you're restricted and you have limited thoughts on who you are, uh, that's going to slow down the process. Uh, but if you open yourself up to life, open yourself up to really getting to know yourself, emptying your cup to um, getting to know who you really are, uh, then that's going to really get the energy moving uh, and provide real deep, deep clarity quicker so that you can get to know who your true twin flame is quicker, if that makes sense. The last point I wanted to make is to trust in the higher power, trust in God, trust in the universe. As I said at the start, I think, uh, like, you didn't create yourself. You didn't create your union. Uh, God knows you better than you know yourself. Uh, God will always know you better than you know yourself. And that's a good thing. Like, God God loves you. God takes care of you. Uh, and God is, God is perfect. God is perfect to creation. And you can trust that He created you perfectly. And God loves you. You can trust that uh, He... Everything that he has given you, all that you are, is perfect to you, including your true twin flame. So it's safe to empty your cup and follow your intuition. Follow the guidance that God and the universe and the higher power is guiding you, guiding you towards. Surrender is just a huge, phenomenal uh, key on the twin flame journey, not attachment. And I just wanted to bring that point forward today. Because uh, if you control, then you're really inhibiting life you're inhibiting growth you're inhibiting clarity and it's gonna be a much slower journey to coming into your twin flame union right your twin flame union is coming to great awareness as to who you are at your core and seeing yourself who you are and that's going to make it much easier to identify who your true twin flame is so that you can come into union together so thanks for listening i've i'm I felt good to share everything that I learned about non-attachment on my twin flame journey. Life was so much easier when you're non-attached to the guidance. Uh, another thing that's coming before I close out today is uh, non-attachment doesn't mean like um, like not being not taking uh, responsibility for your life. Non-attachment doesn't mean uh, just like flailing around like a, a plastic bag in the universe. Non-attachment just means letting go of control being open to really getting clear on who you truly are so yes thank you thank you i uh, hope you enjoyed this video i bless your twin flame union and i i look forward to sharing with you in more videos